Hey and welcome to another tutorial. The last time we've created those nice looking business cards inside Microsoft Word and I guess it's perfectly fine if you just need you know business cards for yourself but what if you need a business cards for everyone in the organization like 100 business cards. It would be a lot of work to just retype the number you know eight times in the position and such. You can probably use Control H function for replace to replace your number with other name which you know kind of works but still a lot of work. So is there an easy way how to do it? It is, and it's called mailings. I know it. there is a lot of buttons, but we will keep it simple. So let's say we want to feed in something in there. So we can select the recipients and we can type in a new list. So that's one way how to do it. You can type in your name and, and last name and add a new entry. So you will have a lot of entries, but uh, let's say that you already have your names and phone numbers and emails somewhere and that somewhere may be maybe in Excel spreadsheet. So I already have this Excel spreadsheets prepared where I have actually what I have on my business card. So I have the name, the position, email, phone, and the initial. And what I've did, I've just you know type in on the Google random names generator and just copy some random names, and then fill in the random position, random emails. And I've actually used the very same phone number I can see, as you can see. For the initial, I've actually used a function called left. So instead of typing, you know, V for my name and A for the next name, I've typed in equals equals left, which takes some number of characters from this cell. So this cell, and I will only take one character from this cell from the left side. And then I just copy this cell, you know, for all the lines. So I have this Excel spreadsheet prepared, I will save it. And inside Microsoft Word, instead of selecting or uh, typing a new list, I will set uh, use an existing list. Now I will find my Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see, it's the only Excel spreadsheet in the in the folder. So I select it, and for some unknown reason, I get the Excel, you know, which I probably don't want. I want to jump back to Word, and you can see a preview in here. So I will just say open. Now it will ask me for the sheet. I only have one sheet, so that's fine. And it will ask me if I want to use the first row of data as headers, which I don't want because I've already typed in the first row as the column names. So I will jump back to Word and say OK. So nothing changed, but now we have those data loaded into Microsoft Word. And we can tell by simply clicking the Insert Merge Field button, we can see that we have the name, position, email, phone and initial. Now for the next step, I will probably show the invisible uh, symbols and characters just so I can see you no know, line breaks and such. And I will start by selecting my name and in the mailings, I will type, I will select Insert Merge Field and of course name. Now as long as I click it, it will get this you know, grayed out or, or gray name. So I can delete this gray chi. And you know, it's not helping very much because it doesn't seem like anything is happening. But that's because you haven't clicked the preview results yet. So if I click the preview results, I will get my name, which is fine, because that's the first entry in the Excel spreadsheet. But as long as I click the next entry, I will get the other name and and other name and other name. And I already see that this name is too long. So I will probably change the font size to maybe like 18 or so. So all the names will fit in nicely. So I can try to you know jump between all the different names until I will get to name number 10, because that's the number of names I do have in the Excel spreadsheet. So the next step is pretty obvious. I will turn off the preview results. And I will select the second line and select insert merge field, which will be the position, delete the designer, then I will do the same with email. So I will insert a merge field email, and of course, the phone number, which is right aligned. So insert merge field phone. And the last thing which is needed is to insert the merge field, the initial for this one. So I will insert merge field initial. And, you know, just because it's very small, I cannot see anything than just few first two letters. But I know that there is the you know, there is the letter V. So I'll probably de delete the letter V first. And then maybe not maybe I will just insert merge field initial and then type in delete and delete the letter V. It's not visible. But when I turn on preview results, I will only see the, in the initial letter. And I'm already on the you know, in you know, in name number 10. So I will jump back to my name, which is the first name. And the next step is pretty obvious, I need to use the same technique for all the business cards. Now just because the last time we've defined those business cards in a very dynamic way, what I can do is I can just delete all those, you know, seven business cards, like so. 
and I need to you know press the enter key multiple times to just make sure that the back page back you know back sides are on the second page. I will delete this one as well. Then I will select everything, copy it into clipboard control C and paste it control V and I will do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. I will zoom in a little bit and just show the preview of the mailing. So preview result and everything looks great. I can jump between different names and everything just updates, you know, the letter, initial letter updates, name, position, email, phone, everything looks great. Okay, so the only missing piece is to make sure that the initial letters also update, update on the back page. You can see I have some empty lines in here, so I'll delete those lines until I will see the back page. Few more, okay, one, two, and I will just maybe for this I will quickly hide the background rectangle, which is maybe this one. Yes, it is. And for this I will select the V letter, insert mailings, insert merge field initial, press the delete key to delete the old initial letter. And S should be probably fine because we are on some name which starts with S. So again, I will select those seven business cards like so. And then copy and paste this one. So control C, control V, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will make sure that there is no blank page. I will hide those invisible characters or unprintable characters. And now we have you know, your business cards in a way that we can feed in any number of you know names that we want. Now of course there is we still only have two pages, but there are ways how to make sure that we want we have all the business cards. So one way is only for printing. You will select finish and merge and you will just say I want to print my documents. And you can select if you want to print all the records, only the current one or from some starting point to ending point. If you want, you can also merge everything into one single document. So you can select finish and merge and you can select edit individual documents. Again, you can set which ones you want to edit. So I will say I want to edit all those and it will create me a new Word file where there will be, I hope so, 20 pages and it will be done in a way that I have the first, uh, you know, first entry in my Excel spreadsheet, which is my name and the back page, the second entry, which is some Ada Lynch with the back page and so on and so on. So I will get, I can simply say I want to print those business cards and I will get all the records printed. That's it. So that's how you create any number of business cards inside Microsoft Word using mailings and using Excel spreadsheet or basically any kind of input to feed in the values. And that's it. Also, if you have any ideas of what you want to see on my channel, I would love to hear that. So please put it on the comments for this video. Thank you very much.